Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to double and even triple your sales within eBay dropshipping in 2022 and 2023 and beyond. Now these steps are the ones that I've taken to get my store to these numbers because in 2021, I was able to gross over $220,000 in revenue and now I'm gonna walk you through all those steps. All right, guys, so strategy number one is something that I call FOMO or fear of missing out. Now, when you sell on eBay, you wanna create urgency for buyers. And what you can do is you can set your products to only one available, which means that you'll get a red badge or words on your listing and the search results that say last one available. And, and once you get you know, one, two, three, four, five sales, it'll show a red badge stating that, okay, there's only one available, or I'm gonna even say sometimes that 78% sold, and this in buyer's eyes, but oh crap, I gotta buy this right now because it'll be gone for good, and I don't know when it's coming back. So setting your products to just one left is something that you can try, which really helped me with my sales, because in my software, which I use, when a product goes out of stock, it, it will automatically jump to one more, one more, one more. So it'll stay active within a few minutes and it'll only say one. Now you could try this, you know, some items are just bought once, some items buyers buy, you know, two or three of, it's hit and miss. Basically you could try this out and yeah, let me know if you have results. All right, so strategy number two is you're gonna wanna sell products with medium and high demand. Now you don't wanna sell products that, you know, maybe sell once or twice a month, not even. What, what I do is I try to focus on products that have medium to high demand that sell at least 14 times in the last seven days, which means it's sold at least two or more times per day. And it means that you know it's a good product, it's selling actively, and it's actually a product which will move and you know generate you profit. And if you guys want me to make a video on this separately, you know just please comment down below that you wanna see a video and I'll be happy to make a video showing you my eBay dropshipping product research strategy. All right, so strategy number three is to use expedited shipping on your listings, which means that you offer buyers between one to three days shipping, and then set your handling time to between one and three days as well. Because if you set over four days, then eBay will show a orange badge, which means that it's a slower shipping product and buyers may stay away from that. And you really don't want to set standard because standard is like, oh, it'll come in a week, week and a half. So if you set expedited, which means between three and five to six days, it looks much better on eBay. And, and if you do it right, eBay will show on your listing a green badge that says fast shipping, or it'll say something like two and three day shipping, something like that. And it looks more enticing to buyers. And you don't want to show slow shipping because you know, buyers might stay away from that. So that's definitely a tip that I've used, which has really helped me with my sales. And, you know, it basically all depends on your supplier. Now, if your supplier has four day handling time, then you really can't set that. But if your supplier ships out most products between you know, one and three days, so then it's a great strategy that you could try. All right, so strategy number four is to set competitive price points. Now, what you can do is if you do it the manual way, is on eBay, search for the main um, keywords that you're selling, see what other sellers are selling them for. But don't just do that. Go under the sold and the completed listings. If you select that, and you'll be able to see all the items that have sold within, uh, I mean, within the last month or two. And then based off that, you know, like you could just choose the best price for the product. Now, say for instance, if it's been selling for 30, 32, 31, and $34, what you could try is to set your product at $29 and either 99 cents or 96 cents or 94 cents or dot 90 to really stand out to buyers. And as long as you make a healthy profit margin, you know, in terms of drop shipping, you really want to stay, you know, like at least, you know, eight to 10% profit margin at least. You know, I always try for a lot more um, all depending on the product and the supplier and um, all that stuff. But definitely, you want to set a price point that is very competitive. 
and that will really attract buyers. So the main areas that buyers look at when buying your product or not is your photos, your title, and your price. If all three are in sync and are perfect, then buyers are more likely to purchase from you. All right guys, so strategy number five is to add a best offer feature to your listings. Now you're like, Mike, hold off, wait a minute. Like if I do this, how am I even gonna make any profit? Well, what you can do is you can set a minimum um, price you know, that you're willing to take for a product. Say for instance, if your product is $30 and your supplier is $18, and with you know shipping or tax, if you're not tax exempt, say your profit is four dollars. What you can do is set a offer, or what you can do is raise your price to thirty-one dollars, and then select a best offer at least for twenty-eight dollars. So if the person offers, I mean, say if a buyer offers, you know, twenty-eight fifty, or somewhere in that range, and if you accept it, you'll still make a profit and you'll basically have the sale. And the more sales you have, the better off that, you're, that you'll do on eBay with your listing. All right guys, so the sixth tip is you're gonna wanna gain as much positive feedback as possible. Now feedback as a whole on eBay is very huge. Buyers take your seller feedback into heavy consideration when they buy and they wanna trust you. Now when you receive you know, 10 or more sales on your eBay listing, your listing will then show a button called See Feedback and for all the buyers who bought your product, who left a review, it'll show it to any buyer who looks at your listing. So um, it'll show your positive, your neutral, and your negative feedback. Now, feedback is huge, as I said. Now, a few ways to really nurture your buyer and your relationship is to send messages, either manually or with software, when the item has been placed. Say, thank you for your order. It's in the process of being you know, shipped out. Send a second one saying that, hi, your um, um, your purchase has been shipped out via carrier, you know, say like UPS, FedEx, or whatever, and then like with a tracking number, and then a third message saying, "Hi, it seems that your package was delivered. We hope you love it. And if you have anything to ask us, you know, you can always reach out." Saying that is huge, and doing this, which I've done for a couple of years now, has heavily reduced any kind of negative feedback because buyers want you to reach out to them and just you know show you care, show you're willing to help them with any kind of issues. You know, say if it was damaged in transit or if it arrived broken, just you being willing to really help your buyers and really to solve any issues is huge on eBay. All right, guys, and my seventh and last tip in this video for you guys is to basically use Markdown Manager to run a sale promotion for your product. Say, for instance, if you want to sell a product at $30, what you can do is you can set your price to $39 and then run a Markdown sale at $30 and it'll show you know, a savings of blank and it'll just look better to your buyers. And it'll for 100% like increase your sales. Now, I've used this a few times here and there and it's worked out very, very well, more so with wholesale dropshipping because with retail dropshipping, when the prices change on the supplier website, then there's issues with Markdown Manager. So I've used this for wholesale dropshipping, uh, which has worked great. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my video on how to double or even to triple your sales with an eBay dropshipping. So I really hope you enjoyed. Um, this is my first video on YouTube. So my plan is to post content weekly. And so this channel will be focusing on three main pillars, e-commerce, high performance, and fitness. Because without all three, you really have a really hard chance to achieve any kind of massive success. Because you have to be fit, you, you have to be able to, to operate at a high performance level and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.